Okay, so I just downloaded this, uh, the Catholic Diocese app. I renamed it to Boise app, and um, I did a lot of the customization steps for it. Uh, but one thing that needs to change for the Diocese of Boise to have a fully functioning app with their data is uh, this file in the resources folder, the parish data.sqlite file. It's an SQLite database, um, or SQLite, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and it has all the data for parishes, uh, locations, schools, locations, whatever you want, um, as well as the, the time information for, for mass and adoration and all that. So uh, to open this, though, you can either use the command line and, and write a bunch of SQL by hand, which if you know how to do that, that might be fine. But uh, most people would rather use a graphic interface for it. And uh, there's an app for the Mac called Base. It's on the Mac App Store, and it's $28.99, which is not a bad price to pay for how powerful this little app is. Um, but it lets you edit the database as if you were using it in like Excel or something like that. Um, so basically, uh, once you have that app, you can double-click on this file here that has all the data in it. It'll open up, and you'll see these different tables over here. The main one that uh, you want to worry about initially is Z Parish and don't ever rename this table or anything like that unless you really, really know what you're doing. Um, but if you click on that and then click on data up here, you'll see all of the information about each parish. Each parish is contained in one row and it has a parish number. Uh, this is used for some places to relate the parish to an event or to other data, um, but um, every parish needs to have a number. Uh, you know, if you don't have that, you can just name them one, two, three, four, five, like that. And then it has the parish latitude, longitude, the street address, and you can adjust these column sizes, uh, the zip code, the, uh, let's see, this is the Archdiocesan URL. Um, that's just the link to the website, basically. The city that the parish is in, the parish's name, and the state. Uh, so to change these things, you could just select all of these. I'm holding down shift and I click from the first to the last and hit minus to delete them. Um, but uh, otherwise you can just click plus to add a new record. Uh, for these put one, the Z and Z opt. Uh, and then for the parish number I'll put, you know, whatever the parish number is. Then you paste in the latitude and then you put a longitude and then you put in the address and then you put in a zip code and then a website if it has one and a city Boise a parish name my parish name and a state so obviously this would not be the same for your parish um, but you just do that for each parish. You can do it by hand, or there's ways that you can import uh, using this app. If you have your data in a CSV file, you can import it into here. Uh, now note that this way is currently the only way to get stuff in, uh, or handwriting the SQL by hand in, in a terminal. But we're going to be making a much easier way using just a CSV file or something like that. Um, but for now, this, this will let you edit this file. And once you've edited it, you can just quit base. So I quit that, and then when you launch the, uh, when you open up Xcode with the app information in it, there's one last thing that you'll need to do to make sure that uh, the, the data is loaded correctly. So I have the app here opening up in Xcode. I don't know why my computer's going so slow right now. <laughs> Someday we'll get, here we go. Okay. Uh, and the last thing that you need to do before you build it and run it in the simulator to make sure it picks up that latest change is hold down your computer's option key and click on the product menu and then click clean build folder. This will wipe out all the data uh, associated with the app including the parish diocese data. And then after you do that, if you've already loaded the app in the simulator, you'll want to go into the simulator and uh, basically you can run this, go in the simulator, I'll do that now and uh, delete the app from the simulator itself and then reinstall it again from Xcode. So once this builds, if it ever does, it opens up in the simulator and our new parish should be in there somewhere. 
I don't remember what we called it, my parish or something like that. No. Oh, it's probably it's probably already on here because I need to do what I just told you to do. Basically, delete the app like that, and then quit the simulator. And then I'm going to clean the build folder again because it's just a good idea to always do that when you change anything. And then run it again. And this time, that new parish should be in there again if my computer ever finishes compiling. And here it comes. And there's the data. My parish name, there it is. So now you have that information in there and uh, sometime else I might go into the parish times but for now I just wanted to show you how to simply add parish data for your own diocese or organization using the base app on the Mac. On the PC, I'm sure there's something available, but uh, I don't use a PC too much, so if I find something, I'll put it in the description below. If you have any good suggestions, put them in the comments below, uh, or you can talk about it on the uh, Catholic Diocese app, GitHub pages, or wherever you would like to. Thanks!